I got this for $8. Let's open it up. Okay, if you don't know, this is a Timex Sinclair 1000. This is a very interesting setup. I saw this and I just had to pick it up. I immediately picked it up. Okay, so we have the computer. Uh, it looks like it has been opened at one point. We'll find out exactly what the situation is in there. I promise I have not opened this myself. I'm opening this with you here. We have the 16K RAM expansion module. It's a little bit of damage on the front there, but this is good that we have this because you need this RAM expansion to play the cube game. You ever heard of the cube game? I haven't either. It is completely 100% sealed up. We'll get into that in just a second. Firstly, on the front, you'll see there's a price tag. That price tag is original. The computer itself cost $100 back in the day. The RAM expansion was $50. A set of three software programs cost $60, bucks, which is actually a pretty good deal. Um, and they were able to do that because they came on normal cassette tapes. Again, we'll get to this later. So overall, the original owner paid $209. That's 1980s dollars. Um, so that's probably close to 300 or even more today for what we're about to open. So let's get into it. Still has the original plastic. Uh, man, the colors on the package are actually really good for being so old. Um, revolutionary technology makes this computer possible. All right, it says it has it is the first personal computer featuring our new microchip design. That might be the earliest reference I've ever seen to the word microchip. That's kind of interesting. I'm sure it's not the first ever, but it might be the earliest that I've seen. Uh, powerful microchips, including a master chip that replaces as many as 18 chips. Okay, that's interesting. That's part of how this computer is able to get so small. We'll see more about that later. Oh, and it still has a 90 day warranty. Uh, yeah, let's not count so much on that. Here we go. Oh my God, this might not have ever been opened up since the day it was bought. Look at how clean that styrofoam is there. Normally it would be all yellowed and everything else. Let's... This is so cool, I am not gonna lie. This might be upside down, which, which do we think? Ah, this has gotta be the right way up because it says Timex Sinclair 1000 right there, that is... This has never been touched. This has never been touched. This is completely, this is brand new. Man, this is so cool. Oh, it's got a horrible keyboard. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the keyboard on the Atari 400. It's got the same horrible touchpad, but of course this is like an eighth of the size. I'm, I'm still, I still can't believe this is basically a brand new computer here. Okay. I mean, this is as new as it gets. It's still wrapped up. This has never been turned on, guys. All right, put this power plug to the side. This is the RF adapter. Because this computer does not have um, its own screen, it connects to an old-fashioned TV. There's sticky on the back and it's never been unpeeled. I mean, look at that. Th this, this is a one in a million find right here. Let's get the computer. Oh my gosh. Look at how tiny it is. That's the whole thing. The back, that's where the expansion card goes. We got uh, audio out, a mic in, that's power in. These markers are actually kind of engraved onto the side and printed underneath. Video output on the bottom. You get to change channels between two and three because like I said, it just goes into a TV. This is the coolest thing, man. Underneath, you have your audio in and out. So this is not actually for audio, I don't think, but it's instead to hook it up to a cassette recorder, 
which again, we'll need one of those to play our game and I'll, I'll bring one in. And you get a TV lead in the box. And finally underneath, this is so freaking awesome. The instruction manual, the owner's guide. <laughs> and here's the warranty. Oh my gosh. That's weird. It, it would be like 11 bucks just to buy this on its own. This is, it's got actual programs in here. This is so cool. And it's, it tells you how to do the graphics modes and everything. This is awesome. All right, let's open up the RAM expansion pack. So this would be a $50 add-on. Uh, let's open her up. Got the same molded foam. Wow. Ooh. This is crazy. So these are the instructions. Um, make sure the computer switched off before plugging it in. And it has a, a memory test poke it wants us to do when we put in. Ah, this is the coolest thing. Ah! I, I cannot believe this. Okay. Let's, let's just enjoy what we're seeing. It's heavy. It must have some heat sinking in there. But yeah, you can see that that will just plug into... I don't want to... Okay, I'll, I'll do that off camera so I don't mess anything up. Oh no! The little label came off. I doubt you can even see that, but that, that label was at one point attached right there, but it's it's just fallen off. So I will definitely put that back on. And last but not least, we're going to open up the cube game for Timex Sinclair 1000. This this is tightly packaged. It might take me a little bit to get my fingernails underneath. All right, we got it here. I've only opened up a couple of new uh, cassette tapes in my day. Um, so this is, this is a fun experience just right here. I wish we had the other two games that came with that $60 upgrade, but, uh, it has some, some roughness on the label. I hope that it's in good condition. It still has the sponge intact. It should be fine. And look on the, on the label. <laughs> Load cube, it tells you the command to type into basic to load, load cube. Well, gotta remember that. And of course it has its own tiny little instruction book. Load time is five minutes and 37 seconds. It'll tell you, man, this is gonna be awesome. The cube game. All right, I'm gonna try to get this all set up and we'll be able to mess around with the Timex Sinclair 1000. Okay, I think we're set up. We've got the expansion pack plugged into the expansion card. I've put the, uh, the logo back on there. I've plugged the TV out into the TV. TV is on, set to channel three. Computer is set to channel three. We should just need to turn it on. I don't even think this has a uh, a power switch. I think as soon as I turn it on, as soon as I plug it in, it's gonna turn on. Maybe not. Okay, we're getting 10. Come on, plugged in. There might be a reason that this was opened once. Getting started. Uh, yeah, it should just turn on. All right, guys, today is tomorrow, and I was able to get the Timex Sinclair 1000 to work. Turns out it has a very weak video output signal. So uh, by changing out for the included adapter and by adjusting the settings on the back of the TV just so, I was able to get this unimpressive video signal. Yeah, this isn't the best computer ever as far as features or usability goes, but it was cheap and that's the whole point. It was advertised as the first computer ever under $100 back in 1982. The next thing I did was type the classic 10 print 20 go to. So I did that, worked perfectly. 
Next, I got to load my very first cassette program. I pulled out an old cassette recorder I had, hooked up the audio input and output, pushed the load command into the computer, pushed play on the recorder, and we were off to the races in five and a half minutes. Yeah, this thing took forever. But when it was finished, we were rewarded with the worst game I have ever played. I'm I'm not even kidding here. It's just a Rubik's Cube knockoff with 2D character graphics. I honestly have no words, but anyway, it proves that this whole thing does work, and this is a really cool find. So, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun unboxing this, messing around with it, getting that game to at least play, even if it wasn't very playable. But, thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.